After the anti-demento lesson, Harry asked Professor Lupin if it was true that Sirius Black and Harry's father had been friends. Professor Lupin seemed disturbed by the question. He would only say that he had known Sirius once, or thought he did. Ah! Scabbies is gone! And you know what I found on the floor? Cat's hair! Orange cat's hair! You're not suggesting Crookshanks! I just heard they're going to execute Bugbeak because he attacked Malfoy! No! They can't! This is all Malfoy's doing! He's the one who wants to be punished! There must be something we can do! An appeal! An appeal, that's it! I'm sure I've read about a case of hippogriff baiting. We can look in the library. I'll come along, but I've had it with that monstrous cat of yours, Hermione. I wonder where Madame Pince is. Maybe Crookshank's got her too. I know she'd let us look at those books on hippogriff baiting. It's an emergency. It kept in that legal section over there, but it's locked up. There must be some other way to get up there. All right, but let's just try and do this without getting into trouble. Trouble? Who says we'll get into trouble? <laughs> A way to get us up to that legal section, Ron. Right. Ancient Greek. The first recorded example of an animagus, he could transform himself into a falcon. Shout if Madame Pinch shows up.
Draconicals! Did you find anything that could help us with Buckbeak's defense? Yes, and I've already dropped the book off at Hagrid's. Hang on. How did you do that? We only just left you. Well, um, I took a shortcut. Come on, we don't want to be late for chance class. It's right over there. Eee! Get these horrid things away from me! Run! It's completely bad! Oh no! Maybe we'd better have a look. Um, don't we have charms class now? Yes, but I think we have time to teach that thing a lesson. Whatever it is. It's up to you, Harry. <gasps> hmm. I think oh. we'll need to buy a password from Fred and George's shop to see what's behind this portrait. Just book on the loose in there. I hope you've come to help. You'll earn a collector's card each time you defeat all the pages. There are five cards in all. Don't worry, we'll take care of it. Good luck. Stay and help, but uh, uh, I'm late. Yes, uh, very late indeed. The big oh, one! Oh, 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 the Sephra! With 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 the Sephra! That prefect said we could win all five cards in the set if we can beat that thing for good. We were great. The pulse of the
much for the Monster Book of Monsters. It's a bit sad, really. Seems like we should have tried to tame it. Hermione! Baba Yaga, medieval dates unknown, Russian hag who dwelled in a hut that stood on giant chicken legs, ate children for breakfast and presumably for lunch and tea. Malodora Grimm, medieval dates unknown, using a beautification potion to conceal her true hag form, she married a king and used a charmed mirror to reinforce her self-image, became jealous of the most beautiful girl in the land and fed her a poisoned apple. Leticia Somnolens, medieval, dates unknown. This spiteful hag was jealous of the king's daughter and caused her to prick her finger on a spindle tainted with a draught of the living death. A young wizard who had smeared his lips with wicked weld potion kissed the princess and brought her out of her trance. Old Mother Hubbard, medieval, dates unknown, lured stray animals into her home and starved them to death. Cordelia Misericordia, 1298-1401, hag representative at 14th century summit of Wizards Council. Get on to charms class. 